Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my top four cheap and easy beauty hacks that actually work. So I hope you find these tips helpful and I hope that you enjoy the video. So first up we have an all natural makeup remover and cleanser. Most people these days, instead of using regular cleansers, are using cleansing oils, and a great alternative to that is extra virgin olive oil. This is great because it helps to break down the makeup to help it just melt off your face without stripping the skin of its natural oils because I find that most uh, makeup remover wipes that you would buy at the drugstore can be very irritating and not very good for your skin because sometimes they make my face sting. So ever since I heard about using extra virgin olive oil as a makeup remover, I've tried it and I haven't looked back ever since. I've been doing this for like a couple of years now and my skin has honestly never looked and felt much better. And if you have oily skin, don't let this scare you into thinking that it's going to clog your pores because the molecules in the olive oil are actually too big to clog your pores. Just because you're putting more oil on your skin does not mean it's going to make your face more oily. This is actually going to help nourish your skin because there's no parabens, no harsh chemicals, and no alcohol that's going to strip the skin of the natural oils that your skin needs to stay moisturized. Just make sure that you're actually using an organic olive oil and not something that's too low quality. Up next, continuing with the skincare, I have an organic toner for you, and this is actually not a toner. You can get this at your grocery store too, just like the olive oil as long as it's organic. And it's apple cider vinegar. What's great about apple cider vinegar is that because it's all natural and organic and no parabens and any stuff like that, just like in the olive oil, there is no alcohol in it, and a lot of toners that you would find on the market today have a lot of alcohol in them, and that can be very drying of the skin. And apple cider vinegar, it can be a little too irritating and too drying if you use it alone, so what I do as you can see, I'm using two cotton pads because I have one cotton pad soaked in the apple cider vinegar and one soaked in water. So I just wipe my face with the apple cider vinegar, then wipe it off with the water so that the water will dilute the apple cider vinegar so that it won't be too strong on my face and my skin feels cool, tingly, and refreshed. Next, I am going to show you how to make a homemade hair mask for dry hair and split ends. And you're going to need coconut oil, olive oil, and an egg. So what I'm doing is I'm scooping two big spoonfuls of the coconut oil into a bowl. The reason why coconut oil is so good for your hair is because your hair just absorbs it, like drinks it up, and your hair won't absorb any other oils except coconut oil. It's great for deep conditioning and helps to prevent hair breakage. Now I'm going to place the bowl over top of a small pot of boiling water. Make sure the bowl you're using is heat safe. And I'm going to just leave it over the boiling water to let the coconut oil melt. And as it melts, I'm just going to stir it until all the clumps disappear and the coconut oil becomes completely liquefied. I don't recommend using the microwave because that can just dilute the coconut oil. Next, you want to mix in about maybe two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This is totally optional, you don't have to add the olive oil, but olive oil has vitamin E in it which is great for hair because it helps promote healthy hair growth. Next, it's time to add the egg. And the reason why eggs are so good for your hair is because eggs are protein and your hair is basically made of protein too. And now it's time to apply the mask to my hair. So as you can see, I'm just going to tie my hair up and then I'm going to wrap a towel around my shoulders to protect my clothes. 
I'm gonna tie my hair up and work through my hair in sections just to make it easier because I have very thick hair. So I've got my mixture all ready and I'm just going to take it in my hands. And this stuff smells very, very good because of the coconut oil. Coconuts smell absolutely divine. And so as you can see, I'm just taking my hair sections by sections, starting at the bottom sections and then working my way up. And so I'm just starting at the very ends of my hair, just applying the mask from my ends and working my way up as well. And when you do this, your hair is going to feel a little stiff because the egg is going to dry. And so your hair is going to be stiff and sticky and feel kind of gross. But don't worry, that's totally normal. So just continue to take your hair down piece by piece and continue applying the hair mask all throughout the ends and get up to your scalp too because these ingredients in this hair mask are also really beneficial for your scalp and for hair growth. It helps your hair to grow faster and stronger and it will prevent damage and help fix those pesky split ends as well. And once you have applied it, you can also use the rest of it to like really rub into your scalp, like give yourself a good scalp massage as well because massaging your scalp helps promote blood flow to the scalp and promotes faster, healthier hair growth. Now that my hair has been completely saturated into the hair mask, I am going to put my hair up into a little clip and I'm going to put on a shower cap to keep the heat trapped inside so that the heat will penetrate the hair mask into my hair even more to make it work even better. And what you can do is just leave this in your hair for 10 minutes to 30 minutes, then you can just shampoo it out. Now this last tip is probably my favorite and that is replacing shaving cream with just regular hair conditioner. So you're in the shower or the bath and you're shaving your legs and you've gotten one leg done and you're about to do the second only to find out that you have completely run out of shaving cream. Don't worry, what you can do is take your hair conditioner and just apply it on your legs like you normally would and just continue shaving and this is actually great because sometimes I find that hair conditioner works even better than shaving cream depending on the brand of conditioner that you actually use. So this is a really great tip like when you're in the middle of shaving and you run out of shave cream and this way you're tied over until you need to buy more shaving cream again. And yes, I shave my arms too. Some people think that's strange, but this is how I do, so don't be hating. And there you have it. I hope all this advice was very helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon.